Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Hope's vanishing headaches, was it an act for Finn or a dropped medical story? The bold and the beautiful B and B. Spoilers reveal that Hope Logan, Annika Noel, seems to be doing a lot better since she made this hot connection with Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor. Now that Hope has found a better sense of direction and a new man to sizzle with, her pesky headaches have vanished. Of course, we have to consider why those headaches are no longer plaguing Hope. It's possible that's due to Carter's support since it's a stress reliever to have someone in Hope's corner. However, even John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Navlin, had to wonder if Hope's headaches were real after she flirted with him. It's easy to see why Finn might think Hope was putting on an act, since she loved those miracle worker hands of his. That said, it seemed like Hope was genuinely having terrible headaches for a while. Many B and B fans thought the show might be gearing up for a medical storyline, one that would explain Hope's out-of-character behavior. There's no denying that Hope's gone wild over the last year or so. At some point, there might have been a story in the works involving some health issue like a brain tumor, but it obviously got dropped if that's the case. Then again, maybe the headaches were just a plot point while Hope's crush on Finn was going on. Now that there's no longer a reason to have Finn massaging Hope and coming to her rescue, there's no real reason for her to have headaches either. Regardless, Hope's doing just fine now that she's all about Carter. Our predictions point to both Carter and Hope facing a lot more stress soon, but we don't expect Hope's headaches will resurface despite all the drama. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, say Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messinswood, will cause plenty of challenges for Hope and Carter in the coming episodes, so stay tuned for updates on all the shocking news ahead. CDL's where you want to be for exciting predictions, news, and updates, so make us your top B and B source. In the world of the bold and the beautiful, a mystery may be brewing, and it centers on Hope Logan and her sudden vanishing headaches. Hope's chronic headaches began subtly, flares of pain that would catch her off guard in the middle of conversations, or while she was making crucial decisions at Forrester Creations. They worsened, and though Hope tried to brush them off as the consequence of a stressful work-life balance, those around her, particularly Finn, couldn't ignore the signs. Finn, with his doctor's intuition, noticed Hope massaging her temples at odd moments, the far-off looks when she thought no one was watching, and her noticeable distraction, all symptoms he recognized. He was concerned enough to suggest that she see a specialist. And for a while, it seemed Hope was ready to take that advice to heart. As she scheduled doctor appointments, met with neurologists, and had blood tests run. But just as suddenly as her headaches started, they stopped. No medication, no groundbreaking medical procedure, simply gone. Finn is left pondering, was this a miracle, a symptom of something deeper, or, perish the thought, a performance designed to keep him closer? The whole ordeal has stirred up a web of theories among those around them. Finn's concern and curiosity. Initially, Finn had been genuinely worried for Hope. He had sat with her late at night, reassuring her that whatever the cause of her headaches, he'd help her get through it. He found himself pulled towards her, a level of concern that extended beyond professional obligations, and maybe even a little past friendly compassion. Steffi had noticed his attachment. Her curiosity piqued about the nature of his feelings for Hope, but she hadn't mentioned it. Finn's instincts told him to dig deeper, yet as a professional, he knew he had to maintain boundaries. So he watched, carefully, as her symptoms seemed to ebb and flow, based on who was in the room and what was happening. It had begun to seem like an act, yet why Hope would go through such lengths remained a mystery. Was it to catch his attention, or was something else behind this sudden disappearance of her symptoms? Hope's inner turmoil. Hope, on the other hand, had been dealing with more than she let on. For weeks, she'd been weighed down by Thomas's resurfaced feelings, the lingering instability in her marriage to Liam, 
and her budding confusion about her emotional state. The headaches were real, or at least they felt real to her. They had become her own sort of escape, a physical manifestation of the pressure she felt. But when Finn began to show interest, it stirred something in her. The idea that someone was truly concerned, willing to listen and understand what she was going through, made her feel seen in a way she hadn't in a long time. Hope found herself gravitating toward him, sharing more than just her physical symptoms, opening up about her anxieties and frustrations. In doing so, she saw a glimpse of something that frightened her, an emotional dependency on someone other than her husband. As the headaches dissipated, Hope found herself at a crossroads, admit her feelings were shifting, or remain silent. The easy out was to stop mentioning the headaches altogether, but the implication of that choice wasn't lost on her. She would appear suspiciously cured, and she feared Finn might think she'd been acting all along. Steffi's watchful eye. Meanwhile, Steffi had taken notice of the closeness between Finn and Hope. She trusted Finn implicitly, but she was well aware of Hope's emotional volatility, especially when it came to feelings she wasn't ready to admit. And there was something different about Hope's demeanor around Finn, a softness, a vulnerability that hadn't been there with Liam in recent months. For Steffi, the unexplained nature of Hope's health concerns raised some red flags. She had learned the hard way that sometimes the people you trust the most can surprise you in unexpected ways. So she remained vigilant, watching the situation unfold from a distance, ready to step in if needed. If Hope's headaches were an act, Steffi knew that it could spell trouble for everyone involved. The stakes were high and the love triangles around them were already tangled enough. Liam's frustration. Liam, ever the perceptive one, had noticed a change in Hope too, and her vanishing headaches didn't escape his attention. Though she had confided in him about her symptoms initially, her emotional withdrawal as she leaned more on Finn didn't go unnoticed. The part of him that felt secure in their marriage was starting to unravel, as he saw the subtle signals of Hope's hesitance whenever he brought up Finn's involvement in her treatment. Hope's headaches became a symbol of the unease Liam felt. He wondered if they were truly symptoms or if they signified something deeper in his marriage. He wasn't ready to confront the idea that Hope might be drawn to someone else, but the thought lingered, festering with each day she seemed mysteriously better. The speculation builds. Around Forrester Creations, whispers began to circulate. Some theorized Hope's headaches were stress-related, tied to the company's latest collection and the pressure she felt to keep up with her mother's legacy. Others suggested that it was all a ploy to gain Finn's sympathy, an excuse to stay close to him under the guise of needing medical attention. And a few thought it was a symptom of something unresolved in Hope's heart a literal ache from the burden of feelings she was keeping hidden. The uncertainty surrounding Hope's headaches created a ripple effect, causing tension, doubt, and even jealousy among those closest to her. It was no longer just a medical issue. It was a mystery pulling everyone in, each person trying to interpret her actions through the lens of their own suspicions and insecurities. Hope's Resolution In the end, Hope had to confront her own intentions. She couldn't deny that Finn's concern had been comforting, a light in her otherwise complicated world. She knew that if her headaches returned, she'd need to decide whether to address them openly or keep them to herself, facing them without relying on Finn's comforting presence. However, as she stood in front of a mirror, her reflection staring back at her, she realized it was time to face her truth. Her headaches, real or not, were symptoms of something she'd avoided addressing for too long. Her lingering feelings for Thomas, her doubts about Liam, and the attraction she felt towards Finn, all of it was culminating in an emotional storm she could no longer ignore. Hope knew that the next step was hers to take, and whether it led her down a path of self-discovery or heartbreak was yet to be seen. The headaches may have vanished, but the emotional conflict within her had only just begun.